Hello! You guys must have really missed me in my delightful painting attire. It's been a while, I genuinely feel like I've had like withdrawal symptoms from not painting the house. I don't really know what those symptoms are, it's just me getting, just looking around thinking I, I need to paint. It's not really symptoms are they, but anyway, I just, it's been a while, it's been too long, I need to start all over again and decorate every room again. Basically, <laughs> about a year, it's probably been two years now actually, it's been a while. Anyway, I started decorating the house from top to bottom, getting rid of old wood chip wallpaper, redecorating things, just freshening up skirting boards, all that kind of thing, changing flooring. Um, there's a couple of little videos actually, I'll link to a couple in the description box below if you want to see some of those decorating videos. But I didn't, unfortunately, record the very beginning. I didn't record straight away because I didn't, well I wasn't doing this YouTube channel when I started decorating, so I've missed a lot. But I will link below a blog post that I've written about a couple of the decorating things that I've done in the house. Anyway, in the kitchen, I went for this blue wall. The paint was cheap, <laughs> I got it in the sale. Me and Jim actually both really liked it and we wanted to paint one wall in the kitchen blue and then the other walls grey and we were happy with it for ages. No, I'm not. I've just changed my mind. Thing is, yeah, you kind of, when I, when I actually started, I didn't know what I was capable of. I didn't know what colours I liked. I didn't know a lot of the, like the lounge for instance, is still wood chip wallpaper. We just painted over it in Magnolia because I didn't know I was capable of getting rid of the wood chip wall, wallpaper. Now that I know that I am, I will be in a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, soon, hopefully, be stripping that off and kind of, yeah, painting the wall, probably a grey colour or something. Um, now I know that I'm capable of doing that. But anyway, my tastes have changed. I'm not really keen on this blue anymore. So that's, we're going on the weekend, I think, to choose a colour for the, to go over that blue bit, because I really don't, I don't really know what to do because the other walls are grey. I don't know whether to just use the same grey on that wall or something different, I don't know. I want something not so bright, something kind of neutral. But anyway, we'll, we'll come to that when we come to that. This video, however, is me painting the tiles. The tiles, these little tiles here, originally are like a cream colour. I didn't really like that, so last year I painted them white, but I only did one coat. So I have found the cream colours kind of creeping back through again. So I'd just like to freshen them up. And another thing I'd really like to do is replace the actual plug sockets in here and make them like a, yeah, replace these white ones with a silver, brushed silver kind of, or black maybe, I don't know, kind of ones. Yeah, just newer modern ones that I actually don't despise because they're hideous. Um, so yeah, my friend may be coming to help me Fit the, help me fit them. I'm just gonna stand there and watch to be honest. I'll make the tea. Okay, I have bought some very, very cheap paint brushes. £1.50 for five brushes from Bevan's. I don't know if everyone has a Bevan's near them. Also, I bought a gloss mini roller kit. So that contains five gloss rollers, a tray, and the frame with the handle to do the rolling with. Yep, them, and they were I want to say three pound. And I think this was only a pound. This is the first time I've actually bought one of these. Usually I throw old sheets over things, but I think I've kind of thrown a lot of my old sheets away. So this is just a dust sheet, which I presume will also be a paint sheet just to protect the cabinets and things from getting paint all over them. Anyway, let's get started. Wish me luck. beautiful. Actually massive, much bigger than I thought it would be, which is good. I kind of forgot to mention the fact that I'm going to wear gloves this time because I always end up, I already have it on my hand, 
covered in this paint and the thing is with this gloss paint I should probably turn my hair back too shouldn't I the thing is with this gloss paint it's so sticky it's impossible to get off so once it's on your hands it is on your hands for good another thing once I've got these on it's good that isn't it I think I'm going to tie my hair back okay um gloves on how have I still got hair on my face just tied it back. Right. Let's do this. Basically just have an afternoon to myself because Jim's at work and I thought, why don't I paint and fulfill my painting craving? So that is what I'm going to do. Also forgot to mention the fact that I have paint as well. Um, this is tile paint, one coat it says, but as I said, this is the paint that I used. As you can see, it's very old. Um, this is the paint that I used last year. And I did one coat, and it's not one coat because it needs another coat. I know it's been a while, but I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna get high off these fumes, aren't I? I need to open them under. Am I positive that this isn't going to leak through? So I've got loads of this paint left. Tons of it. I'm 100% sure that's not going to leak. As in, not going to end up all over the place. Oh no, do you know what I was thinking? I might do masking tape along the bottom edge so that it doesn't leak onto my surface because my surface, I don't know whether you can tell from the pictures, it's actually, it doesn't look like that underneath. I have put like a vinyl sticker thing over the top to make it look nicer. It doesn't actually have that design underneath. Um, so I really don't want to ruin that and have to do that again. So I may put some masking tape along the edge. You'll discover this about me. I've not got any meat. I get the job done and it looks great in the end, but I'm just not very neat while I'm doing it. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Jesus, what? Don't, don't, don't get stuck on that. Wait. tip you probably already aren't stupid enough to do like me don't try and stick down the masking tape whilst wearing gloves because that happens so now I've got to put another pair of gloves on god I'm stupid normally I would probably cover the plugs with masking tape as well but because I'm hoping to replace them anyway it doesn't really matter if I get paint on them and if I do it'll just force me to change them won't it apparently the tip is to paint over the grout sections with a paintbrush and then you go in with the roller to kind of fill in the spaces last time I feel like I might have put too much on because I can kind of see drip dripping because it's quite a kind of watery paint um, either put too much on or I don't know but this thing here is supposed to smooth it out but it kind of made it a bit bubbly in places like you can tell that they're painted yeah I'm really glad that I'm painting them again though because you can see a massive difference between the colour like I, they looked white before but now I can tell they really weren't white <laughs> don't know whether it picks up on the camera to be honest can you tell? that section there that I'm doing the difference is ridiculous right I better um, fill that in before it dries
okay, that's me done. Um, I still managed to get paint all over my hands, not really sure how. I think it was because I was using the masking tape whilst I still had the gloves on because they just kind of stuck to me and I couldn't be bothered taking them off and like putting them back on to put the masking tape on. I should have really prepared that all before I started painting but I just wanted to get painting I just got so excited. That didn't take half as long as I expected it to. I'm pretty sure the first coat that I did last year took much longer. I think it was just because that was the initial first coat and whew, that's a lot of fumes in this room and um, it just took longer to kind of cover that cream colour but I couldn't believe how discoloured they were compared to how they had been um, so yeah definitely happy that I've freshened up the white the plug sockets I just kind of brushed around them and didn't I didn't care one bit about getting paints on them I was just like these are getting changed it's annoying that I couldn't change them at the same time you know like so that I make sure that the paint who knows they might be like slightly smaller or Hopefully they're bigger so that when I remove this, because there will be like a line where I haven't painted, but probably where there's no tiles, but I don't know. I don't know how these things work, but I've painted around them. Maybe when I replace them, I'll have to do little touch-ups or something, um, but obviously I do not get paint on my new plug sockets. But yeah, so that is all of the tiles painted and yeah, didn't take half as long as I thought. Really wasn't that hard. I'm pretty sure I used a bit of a thinner layer and didn't hopefully hopefully there's no kind of drip marks appearing this time and I think that the roller kind of did a better job than last time so maybe that second coat is all that it needed really I just couldn't be bothered to do that a year ago never mind um yeah so that's that section of the kitchen done thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please subscribe and all that jazz and the usual nonsense and yeah just watch my videos if you enjoy them I'm gonna go now. I need to have a bath and tidy the kitchen and cook some food. <laughs> I'm tired. That's the only problem with painting. It's such a mess. Such a mess. So many fumes. I think I need to go for a walk. Whew.